let's talk about dimension splitting, which some people have referred to as timeline splitting. Let's get into it. If you don't know me, I am Michelle. This is Angel Souls. Thank you so much for being here. It would really be wonderful if you could share this video if you know other people who might be interested in this. If you decide that you would like to work with me, you can visit my website, angelsouls444.com. Now let's talk about this interchangeable discussion here. People are talking about dimension shifting or dimension splitting and timeline shifting. Da, da, da. They're different. Okay, they're, they're very different. I want to start with the dimensional splitting. So for years and years and years, we have heard people say, I'm on an ascension path. It's been said so often, <laughs> like people are making angry TikToks about it now. <gasps> Girl, don't you, don't you die on me now. Oh, I just learned about an hour ago that this is gonna need a new light bulb. Okay, well anyway. If it starts doing the thing, I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> so years ago, people started using that word ascension. Stop. Angry TikTok. So people are angry and they're like, it's just like I'm hearing about ascension. <laughs> Whatever. So the discussion a long time ago when it was fresh, uh, people would say, I'm, you know, on my ascension path. I'm going into 5D. And then it was really around, I would say 2010-ish. This is where we started getting some pretty... Uh, how do I be nice about this? Uh, we started getting some pretty outlandish claims. Uh, people saying that they're mermaids. I've spoken about that and said, you know, if I splashed you with a hose, would you grow a tail? I don't know. There's just this whole thing of trying to escape being human and pretending that you were something else. So there was that. Um, and some, listen, I'm not here to say that it doesn't exist. I don't know. Doesn't sound like it would, but what do I know? I don't know all the dimensions. Okay. But people were trying to escape being human and trying to really escape the third dimensional ego consciousness, the density consciousness, where you are right here, right now, right? With your density body. An ego, right? An ego that is there to have you uh, be watching out for danger and to run if there is danger and then during certain times of our lives that can malfunction. I don't know if that's the right word, but it can misfire. It can be overly defensive, you know, all of that. So people were trying to skip right over fourth dimension because apparently that's not pure enough. And yeah, it wouldn't be pure enough. And we're going to go right into the fifth dimension. Oh yes. And I'm living in 5D now. And <laughs> it was like, I don't know. One of the things that always irritated me, those are the people that were saying you're so negative um, doing that really awful thing where they were um, gaslighting and telling people that they're invalidating their feelings and their perspective. So none of it was healthy. I don't know fully what was going on there, but there was this goal to get to the fifth dimension. Some of the claims that people were making were, were that they were fully in 5D. That is not possible. Let me tell you why. If they were fully in 5D, they wouldn't need a physical body. You wouldn't be able to perceive them. They couldn't have conversations with just regular people. So I don't know if they're walking around thinking that they're invisible. That's interesting. That's an interesting thought. What if they're walking around thinking they're invisible? <laughs> I, just, I, I can see you, okay? I can touch you. Like, what? So what people I think were trying to get at, and maybe we were all kind of missing the mark, is getting into the 5D frequency but not so much so that you're kicking out of your body, all right? So this is already occurring and you probably already have experienced some of these things. So we're gonna talk a little bit here about how you know if you're experiencing a dimensional, let's call it a shift. I mean, yes, it is kind of splitting because the population is sort of splitting and this gets a little complicated. I do want to put a disclaimer in here that we are not talking about people who manipulate others into thinking the way they do or judging others because they're not exactly the same. That's not what we're talking about here. This shifting, getting more into a 5D mindset, suddenly societal ills are just so obvious, so obvious. And again, I'm not talking about societal narcissism, okay? I'm not doing that where people just do things to get attention. I'm talking about, wow, that's more messed up than I thought. 
Now, this is the part, because you have a judgment around that, so you might have some moments of clarity. It's like fifth dimensional clarity. You're coming from, if you want to see it as like a higher perspective. You see it, it's obvious, but you still have your human reaction to it. That's why you're still in your body, okay? So let's clear that up. You're not fully existing in 5D. Your spirit guides are not even existing in 5D. No, they're not. Don't try me on this, okay? Like, no, they're not. That's a whole other video. But anyway, so that's how you're still kind of balancing the two. So if you want to see it as like, I got one foot in 5D and one foot here, sure, fine. You know, great. Poor 4D. <laughs> I'll let you have that visual. Uh, but you suddenly see it and then you might have a human reaction to it. So if you notice the shift, some very, very horrific, terrible things that have been going on in this world. I have to be careful what I say on social media, but you know what I'm talking about. Those things are coming to light and you see the shift. You see the shift. So it's not as black or white as people previously made it. It's a blending. Okay. And even us, you might have a 5D moment and then you pop back into 3D. I'll tell you what, when someone's rude at the store, 3D. Okay. What are you doing? Tap, tap, tap. There's a line. No, <laughs> I would not do that to anybody. I swear. But you know, it's, it's this sort of thing where we're now becoming, people call it awakening, but people knew about this stuff before, but nothing kicked off in them. <laughs> Nothing happened. And as a matter of fact, some people, now I haven't experienced, like I've experienced really horrible things where that, I gotta be careful, where was, my energy was taken. Um, but, and there were attempts to take me twice in kindergarten. Um, it did not work. But I lived in a state that has a real problem with certain things happening with children out there and I I got lucky okay but now people previously people are like oh come on is that really happening gosh it's just a mystery we don't know what's going on again this is why Gen X is so tough because <laughs> like, there, there was no it was, I, I wouldn't say the 80s and 90s were the most compassionate times I, w I wouldn't say that um, but this is that kind of understanding of like, whoa, now we feel like we have the wherewithal to look at this, to discuss it, to not let these things happen, even though it's uncomfortable. So even there, it's, it's bizarre and I don't have all the answers as to why we didn't have the same reaction before, but now people are gradually wanting to face it and be willing to do something about it. Okay. So another way that you know, you're kind of floating back and forth. And this seems like so simplistic, but let's call it inconsideration. <laughs> Inconsiderate people. I always complain about that, but like, this is different. It's like viewing, like not getting invested, right? Watching, but not getting invested, but just watching someone's behavior and their entitlement, how they don't have any consideration for others. It's their world and everyone's just living in it. Think about and this is going to hit some of you pretty hard because you probably do this because you're, you're still stuck in 3D. Loud neighbors. Loud neighbors. Think about this. There, there's a trend going around on TikTok where people are uh, throwing, not throwing, rolling glass jars down the steps. And it's in an apartment stairwell. Can you imagine if you were the neighbor that lived in it and you had this ding, 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 you know, all this stuff. And not only that, it's a huge fire hazard, right? And sometimes they're releasing marbles all over the place. Can you imagine if the fire, God forbid, if the fire alarm went off at that time and you couldn't even use the stairwell because there's glass and wet whatever and marbles everywhere. Terrible. But not saying those people are bad. I think they're just not thinking. So that's part of, that's an example of the split. Like they're not thinking this through. That this could actually be harmful and dangerous to other people, right? Or again, the loud neighbors. I can do whatever I want. Not if it's interfering with someone else's life. This is a dumb example, but I was just saying about this this morning, but how when I go to concerts, there's always that drunk person who's like, like you're trying to hear the artist, the performer, and they're screaming in your ear or they're trying to sing. Ruins everything. Makes me mad. Now, that's not really a split between third and fifth dimension, but I feel like if you were in 5D, you'd be more considerate 
and and looking at the big picture about you know the consequences of your actions and how it's affecting the whole and that's what I'm getting at how when you're in 5d energy you have more of an awareness of how your actions decisions the energy you're putting out there is affecting others without being in this codependent uh, people pleaser kind of space right people pleasers all of that that's still very 3d that's very 3d and it comes from you know previous experiences where maybe it was dangerous if you didn't do that you feel me so that those are just a couple of examples um getting downloads um you know being open to that that happens when you're in 5d but there's a problem we have the ego being a spiritual practitioner i've come across plenty of people who say i live in 5d all the time <sighs> I, I shouldn't be mad. I shouldn't be mad. I'm not mad. It's irritating. How am I able to poke you then? You, you're still in your skin suit. Okay. Like the mothership forgot you. All right. Maybe you were extra annoying. <laughs> the captain of the ship was like, floor it, Janice. Here's our, here's our chance. We dropped them off there. Let them be there. We're going to, they haven't come back for you yet. Okay. We've got to watch putting the ego into this. Now, how all of this is different from timeline shifting that's messing with uh, particles let's say <laughs> that's messing with particles and this is where we're getting those Mandela effects I just I've had Mandela effects recently this is that kind of thing where you don't I mean you probably could jump timelines like quantum leap go look it up like good show but for the most part, most of us are experiencing it with like a little pull on the particles. That's, that's how it's being presented to me right now to bring to you guys. Kind of like pulling back and then going back. For example, minor stuff. I knew somebody who always loved kettle corn from the fair. Kettle corn. Went to the fair plenty of times. This person always said, I got to get the kettle corn. We go and get big bags of it. And then one day... This person said, I never liked kettle corn. What are you talking about? That wasn't me. Yeah, it was. <laughs> are, are you, like, who are you? You know, kind of thing. Or, and I'm not talking like, hey, I just hid from you all these years that I didn't like kettle corn. No, I saw you eating it, okay? Like, you were very excited about it. Now what? Right. So there's a little bit of that going on as well. So, again, it's kind of flowing around. So that's like the time. So they're not timeline shifts like you're here and then boom, you're here. I think it is a much more gradual process and minor process. <laughs> Unless you're one of those people that's been driving along the road and that a car just comes out of freaking nowhere. And I wouldn't stay for that. I would not stay for that. I'd be like, I know I'm supposed to be all brave over here, but I am not. All right. I'm just going along with everybody else doing what we can. But we're seeing a lot of manipulation of that. And we can't leave out what I'm hearing now, a brain scramble. So there are certain things that get done to confuse us. And it's almost like someone, I hate to make us sound like this, like we're inorganic beings, but it's almost like someone replaced the chip. That's terrible to say. I know, it's terrible to say. <laughs> like you remember this other program and then something else is happening. Or I remember when I started feeling timeline shifts, I would lose a sense of time. Like, and it can work both ways. I've done this thing where I've gotten up and I know I've been working, like I've literally gotten several readings done. So three hours should have gone by. And I look up and it's only 12.30. I thought I started at 12.30. How is it the same time? So I've had that experience. And then of course, losing time, you know, all of that. So make note of these things. What I would recommend for all of us to do, yes, be talking about it, but don't sensationalize it. Don't, because that leaves it open for people to water it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just stay authentic to what the experience was. And I know it's popular, especially on certain platforms, to be like, I just time shifted. Let me tell you all about it. This is actually a very serious thing that is occurring and the manipulation that's going on that's contributing and then there's the flow into timelines um akashic records i do akashic records uh, readings for people by tuning in with archangel metatron and often people 
they want certain questions, very specific questions answered. And what I'm always shown is how other timelines are flowing over one another. And maybe there's a duplication of a lesson that's trying to be played out. Maybe it's a very deep lesson. And so your soul, uh, they're not fragments really, but your soul does kind of go out into these different expressions, right? So maybe it's being covered in a couple of different lifetimes and it's amplifying the lesson here, just as an example, right? So this gets into a really big conversation. This video is just already long, <laughs> but this is just to give a, a first treatment on this topic. So that's the difference between the two. That's how you can kind of tell what's happening. I hope you know the distinction now. Leave your comments down below. Share this with your friends who might be interested in this. I wanna hear what they have to say, and then I can make this into a series if need be or not. We'll just see how it goes. All right. I am sending you all so much love and take care.